relations with Malta, we heightened elevated relations with Malta over the past two years when the first Maltese um, delegation came over to look at the opportunities here. But um, I, I keep saying that Ghana and Malta have certain commonalities that sort of bring us together. Um, first of all, uh, Malta is probably the best economy in the EU today. Um, Ghana is the best economy in Africa today and probably the fastest growing economy in the world. Ghana is opportunity rich. We have, uh, we have resources, we have the people, um, and we have an economy that's heading in the right direction. Uh, Malta, on the other hand, um, has uh, an economy that supports investment into Africa. So we look at Malta as a stepping stone into the EU market, whilst Malta looks at uh, Ghana as a stepping stone into the CFTA and to the ECOWAS markets. And definitely we, we complement each other in many ways. We have a, a common cultural heritage. We're both colonized. Um, Ghana had its independence in 1957. Um, Malta had its independence in 1964. But you can see that um, when they had their independence, like they, they, they commonly say, they didn't have any infrastructure, no business, no manufacturing, no nothing, just like Ghana. And we've gradually built, and uh, Malta has built its economy to be at the forefront of the European Union. It is a small market, um, less than 500,000 people as compared to Ghana's 30 million people. And, and, and over the past two years, we've sort of elevated the pitch. I, I've personally gone to Malta four times. And it culminated in the state visit by the president last year, where we agreed that we will work together for our mutual benefit. Um, and um, Malta would, would sort of um, present itself as our opportunity in the EU, whilst Ghana presents itself to Malta as its opportunity in Africa. And, and therefore, we, we are very clear where these um, uh, relations will go. We need to clearly understand uh, what the business opportunity is, then, of course, what the regulatory frameworks will be, um, whether it's a fifth rights, um, um, airspace rights, or, or whether it's actually a, a, a flight that comes to Accra directly and then from Accra goes into the sub-region or uses Accra as a transit point. And either way is whether we can actually have flights go to Malta as a transit point into Europe. So all that is there. But also in, in terms of, um, of business, um, the fact that Malta has opened its first sub-Saharan African embassy or high commission in Accra also tells that they are serious about opening up uh, opportunities. So um, issues like visa, etc. can be issued by the Maltese embassy here. But at the same time, Ghana, Ghana was the first can, African country to open a, a mission in Malta. And, um, and that's why we are seeing that the, now they've brought a, a, a group of uh, over, let's say they, I think there are 28 businesses, some of the serious businesses uh, from Enterprise Malta and Trade Malta are here today to look for opportunity. Mm -hmm.